Good morning, my name is Royal. It is Friday, Friday, August the 11th. I'm on my back porch in Hearst, Texas. I'm here to do my morning devotional. I hope you're here to do it with me. I've got my coffee. If you need to get yours, go for it. All week long, we've been talking about preparing ourselves and our hearts to hear God, the Word of God, so that we will mature. Go back and look at, look at that. I used the parable of Jesus, uh, the, the parable Jesus gave of God, of the farmer throwing out the seed and whether it grew and mature or not. But really, not only is it important that we have our hearts prepared to listen, that we uh, make that commitment to listen, but there's another step that we have to take, that step of faith. And uh, look, I know people who have been church their whole life. They know the Word of God back to front, but they've never really been obedient to it. And they've never been able to figure out why they haven't gone to the next level spiritually. They don't know why they don't have the peace that passes all understanding. They, they don't know why they don't have patience. They don't, they don't know why they, they uh, uh, have a hard time trusting God. It's because they haven't built that wisdom by stepping out in faith and being obedient. Yesterday we talked about trust and obey, trust and obey. You really don't trust if you're not obeying. You get that? You hear that? Hey, let me uh, let me open this up with prayer. Heavenly Father, today may we keep your name holy above every other name. Would you give us what we need to be who you want us to be? Would you forgive us of our sins? Point out the sins we need to ask forgiveness for. Father, may we forgive those who hurt us so that we're better and not bitter. Would you protect us from the many negative influences and temptations that are around us all day long? And today, Lord, uh, we will give you glory for every single thing that happens, the good or the bad, because we know you're going to make everything the good for us to grow, to be more like Jesus. I thank you for that, and I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So here we go. Powerful one, two-sentence verse, two-sentence verse. James writes, but don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. <laughs> Duh. Don't you think we kind of know that? But you know in your own life, and you know a lot of people that don't. They listen to God's word. They're at church all the time. They even tell you God's word, but they don't do it. Don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Remember yesterday I talked about making that commitment up front that I'm going to trust that. Otherwise, you're only fooling yourself. You're only fooling yourself. You are going through the motions of believing that you're a Christian without getting the benefits. As a matter of fact, you're struggling because you're listening to the word of God, but you're not doing it. And when you do that... It causes anxiety and stress and because you don't have that firm, found, firm foundation that comes from wisdom. And wisdom doesn't come from hearing it. It comes from doing it. That's where you get your wisdom. That's why when you, you go through a hard time and you do it in faith, trusting in God, you're ready to take the next level. You're, and you have a hope because you just developed that hope as you developed your wisdom through the situation that you've just gone through. Does that make sense? Let me just say that verse again and then I'll read the prayer. Don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says, otherwise you're only fooling yourself. James 1.22. This verse and the prayer is in the description of this uh, video. Dear Heavenly Father, here's a prayer I wrote for today. I know that listening to your word, knowing the truth, but not acting on it, is foolish. You know what is best for me. You want what is best for me. You know best because you made me and know everything about my past, who I am now, and who you want me to be. Thank you, Lord, for wanting to guide me every step of the way. I will listen to your word and I will obey your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, there we go. That's today, and that's this week, and that's Friday. 
Uh, I will be back Monday if the good Lord will and the creek don't rise. Hey, my name is Royal. I am pastor of Life Connection Church in North Eulis. And if you do not have a church home to call your own, uh, and you live in the DFW Mid-Cities area, would you be my guest at 9.15 or 11 o'clock? Um, if you don't come to my church, go to another church. It's so important that you have that worship time with God. Our website is lifeconnectionchurch.org, and we're in North Euless. Anyway, hope to see you Sunday. If not, I will see you Monday. Until then, love God, love people. You'll change the world. He starts with you. Thank you. God bless.